bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ron Hedeke. We're going to talk about small business and how that is really changing in our uh, era today that we're in. Ken Freeman's with us, the director of the Yuba College Small Business Development Center. How are you? Very good, Ron. Thank you for having me today. Oh, good to have you and uh, good to see you, by the way. Yeah, it's good to still be around and still being able to help some businesses. You bet. Well, I guess things are uh, really uh, busy, so to speak, uh, for you guys right now. I hate to say it. We are busy. Um, businesses are finally starting to understand that there are uh, help and there are programs out there and we're the ones that can do it. So, yeah, we're very busy. Now, what type of services do you guys offer for the development center? We basically are set up by the United States Small Business Administration to be a business consultant group. So our focus is totally on small businesses, which can be up to 500 employees, mm -hmm. but uh, generally we're 100 or less. But it's designed for anything that you need in your business. We have a contact or a consultant that can help you solve it. That includes setting up a, a low-cost website. It includes training you in QuickBooks, uh, marketing plan, business plan, loans. So it's kind of the A to Z of what you need in your business. And probably today with uh, the changes that we're all going through, uh, we're tightening belts, we're changing philosophies. Are we hearkening back to good old business standards? I think so. I think we're going to make a lot of good businesses out of this. And, and unfortunately, we're going to lose some that got caught up in the hoop and the hoopla. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to go back to the good old running a business the way you need to run it. And, and some of that's just understanding customers don't owe you their business. You have to earn their business. Yeah, that's and a major thing. It is a major thing, and and also you have to earn it by being visible. They're not going to find you today if you're not out there in front of them. You know, it's sort of sort of interesting. We go back to years ago uh, before we had all this modern technology that we have around us, the internet, and mm -hmm. which is another group of competitors, and 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 there's more than one of you in town doing the same mm -hmm. thing. Uh, but we always took care of our customers. We always marketed to them. And then as we got into our more modern technology, we seem to have gone away from that. We have, uh, and I think we got spoiled through the good times. People were shopping and spending money like it was going crazy. Now they're tightening, they're going back to where their loyalties were. And, and to uh, design that loyalty means that you treated them right. Yeah. If you didn't, they're not coming back to you. So I'm a small businessman. I'm having a little problem getting things to meet at the end of the month. What's a good time to call you? I, anytime, eight to five, um, leave a message on our phone, we'll get back to you. Uh, you can go to the website, um, we'll contact you back off of it. Uh, sign up for some of the trainings that we offer. Not only do you get the information from old geezers like me, but the people in the classroom also have a lot to add. And it's that networking, being out there, uh, being willing to learn something. And I guess the important part is don't wait to make that call. Don't wait. Do it now. Uh, I have so many options we can help you with if you call us now. Once the creditors start coming in and your bank account's seized, we can help you liquidate, and, and uh, but we don't want to do that. Mm -mm. We want to help you be here. It's, it's interesting that uh, some of the simple things that, that business people can do are things that we don't think of when we're in the middle of the crisis. Right. Marketing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Marketing is generally the first thing hit. And I think the reason is it's very easy to measure the cost and it's hard to measure the results. And so people immediately think they're saving money. If it's tough now and you cut back on your marketing, I'm not saying don't switch your dollars around and make it effective. Right. You cut back and you've just cut your neck. Just cut your throat uh, because if people can't see you or find you, they're not going to shop you. So how do they get in contact with you? Uh, we're several ways. Our phone number is 530-822-0140. Uh, the website's www.yuba.sbdc. Uh, okay. And um, uh, they can also uh, yubasbdc.com. Uh, and you're out there for businesses to help them through it. We are there. They can come to our office. Um, we'll go to them. Uh, we've got a website designer. We've got a QuickBooks trainer. Uh, so pretty much uh, what they need. Perfect. Thanks, Ken. Thanks for being with us. Take advantage of the services. We'll see you next time right here on Newsbreakers. <laughs>